I am making the Christmas snowy night scene on live video and this one is the fireplace that we have been working on. I cut out a few pieces of veneer that I placed here on the bottom and on the top of the uh, fireplace. And I didn't like the decoration on this wreath so I took these plastic beads, uh, small hearts, and I glued them on making sure that there was room for more decoration in between these hearts because I wanted to make some small Christmas balls there. I rolled out a piece of opaque white clay and I cut out four equal sizes of this cane and then I'm just going to roll that into a small ball and I'm gonna do that with all four of these and then I will bake them together with the rest later. The kid wanted me to cut out this little Christmas thing and glue it onto the fireplace but I think a piece of paper sitting there is kind of uh, ugly and not good so I am deciding to do this little thing just in uh, polymer clay and in 3D. First of all I rolled out a piece of clay in a very thick setting and cut out the bottom piece for this little thing. Then I took two colors of green clay and I mixed them. I didn't mix them all together because I like to have the variety of colors in this clay so don't mix it a hundred percent. I'm using bacon bond on this white strip to make sure that my things will glue together to it. First I roll this little green piece into a cone and I'm using my scissor to cut in the details on the pine tree. Be careful that you don't cut the tree into two parts instead of uh, the tree you want here. Then I'm cutting off the tree and I'm placing it here on my white place. And I made three of these just like in the little picture. I take this ball of dough colored clay and I'm cutting off a piece of it so it can stand. Cutting off the sides so I have a flat piece with a flat end on it. And from that I am just cutting out a tiny house shape, just like on the little picture that we have that they wanted us to glue on there. And then I'm using this little part to make a tiny bit, a uh, tiny small chimney to put onto the house. I think this is a bit too long, so I'm just going to cut a tiny bit of it. There we go. And then I'm just sticking this onto the place where it belongs on this white strip. Then I'm going to make the little snowman in the picture here. So I'm rolling a tiny tiny ball out of my white clay. Well I'm actually rolling two of them and I'm placing them together into the snowman. Then I am going to take some black colored clay, roll it really really thin and then I have this tiny hole punch that I'm going to punch out a tiny circle in the black clay and I place this circle on top of the head on the snowman. Then I'm going to roll this black clay into a cane or a snake and I'm going to cut off a tiny bit of this and place on top of this black thing and that's the hat for the snowman. Now I am going to bake the small white balls that we made earlier and this little piece together. I have this glitter right here that I'm going to use for these small tiny Christmas balls. So first I'm using some hobby glue or paper glue and I'm getting that all over here. But I want it all over these small balls here and then I'm just dumping them into the glitter that was kind of difficult but I managed to do that. Anyway I close off the lid on this one and then I'm shaking it a tiny bit and making sure that I have the glitter all over. Then I'm carefully gluing them one by one to the wreath here on the fireplace just tapping them a bit on the edge of my glitter box so that I can get a little of the extra glitter off 
before I place them onto the wreath. I like the result of this really much. I think that it looks a lot better than with the original beads on there. Now for this little 3D decoration, I'm going to put a few details on there. First of all, I use a piece of a light blue sewing string that I'm placing all the way around the head of this little um, snowman as the scarf that is in the picture originally. Then I am going to take my jelly roll, my white jelly roll 05, and I am painting on the door and the windows from the picture. Um, I wanted it to be a little more detailed, but it was quite difficult to paint these things on that small, so I just made them all white. Then I'm using a tiny bit of white citadel paint to paint uh, the snow on the roof on the house here. And on the little original picture, the trees have some white and red dots as well. So I am using my tiny ball tool here and making some white dots around the trees here. Then I'm switching to a red paint and making some red dots on the trees. And I'm also going to give the snowman a red dot for the carrot for his nose. And he needs the eyes in black and a few uh, dots down the tummy for the buttons. That's all there is for this one. I think this is looking so much better than the paper piece and they are actually very much alike also in the size. So I'm really really happy about this. Thank you for watching. If you want to follow along with the build of this little house, then you can see it on my live stream every third Friday in the month. Happy crafting!